there, it's Veronica and welcome to my little corner of the world. I am actually filming off my brand new Sony camera. I definitely am still getting used to how Sony cameras work because I've always been a Canon girl myself, but I am excited for this change and transition. Hopefully elevate my content for you guys. Bear with me through any kinks the quality may have. Other than that, in today's video, we're going to be doing a little try on thread up haul. Thread up is essentially an online thrift store, which we love. You got the sustainability aspect of thrifting, but you also have the convenience aspect of online shopping. It's definitely easier than thrifting in person where you're sifting through a lot of stuff to find hidden treasures. My arm's getting kind of tired. Let me set you up on the tripod real quick. Okay, that is way better. Such a relief on my arms. In the new year, I really wanted to commit to buying less brand new clothes and just thrifting any kind of clothes I wanted that wasn't athletic apparel, underwear, swimsuits, or bodysuits, just thrifting most of my clothing items because one, it's more sustainable. Two, I felt like it would help break my shopaholic tendencies. And three, because in my opinion, thrifting's just more fun. With all that being said, I find that ThreadUp really makes the whole experience easier. Obviously, I'm not having to go through a bunch of random stuff locally. I can actually see pieces from all around. Another thing for me I personally love about ThreadUp is I can filter everything by fabric because I've really been into buying better quality fabrics, things that are not made up of polyester, nylon, or acrylic. Another filter you can use is the condition of the item, which is, I believe, new with tags, like new, gently used. And the fourth one I think is like signs of wear. I personally always put brand new or like new. Also, I recently got a package from them, thread up. I just love the green polka dots on the cardboard because I always know what this package is when it arrives. And I like that it says, think secondhand first, love that message. Obviously, it's the whole premise of their business. Enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this try-on haul. Here are my measurements for your reference in case you were curious. It's not too applicable because obviously you can't buy these items again since it's all thrifted. But if you were curious in terms of like sizing choices, you have that for you. If not, then just 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 ignore this. All right, moving on. Over the first item, we have this adorable yellow top. Obviously, I love me some yellow. I recently got this top, so I haven't even tried it on. This top is actually originally from Urban Outfitters. Interrupting to let you guys know that I reverse Google image this top to see how much it originally retailed for and it looks like $24.99 is what Urban Outfitters used to charge for this top. It's currently not available but I paid $12.76 using thread up. It is a size medium. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't actually check the measurements for this when I bought it. It was just kind of a spur of the moment decision. Let's go ahead and try this one on. All right, so here we have the top and I paired it with some denim jeans that I got from thread up. This top actually fits fine. I thought it would be too big, but I think it fits well. I actually found this top using their, I believe, accents feature. I searched for ruffles because I've been getting really into the ruffles aesthetic lately. Seeing that this had ruffles, it was slightly cropped and it's yellow. I thought it would be perfect for the spring season, just giving more of like a casual but girly vibe. It's a little wrinkly, so just ignore that, but this is what it looks like. It's made out of linen and rayon. This is what it looks like in the back. I think this top will do well for casual errand days or day looks, maybe with like a white vest kind of vibe and a skirt and then boots, kind of my vision for it. Obviously I'll need to steam it, but other than that, keep fine. Here we got the denim jeans. I'm gonna scratch this top up so you can see the denim jeans fully. Boom, all right. So this one wasn't listed with any brand and it looks like the previous owner added another button so that you can cinch it in and kind of just make it like a tighter fit, which is cute. Not needed for me because my waist ain't that small, but this is also 100% cotton. So there's like no stretch in these jeans, but cotton is pretty good quality. I personally love 100% cotton denim. I like the little frayed accents at the bottom and then this is what it looks like in the back of course you got some frayed accents here too you know you need a good denim skirt i feel like they're making a comeback from early 2000s and i'm here for it personally So while we have these denim jeans on, let's go ahead and try on this shirt, which is originally from American Eagle. Definitely has fun spring summer color vibes. Hopefully it's not too big. It actually kind of looks too big, but I thought the yellow shirt was too big and it fit fine. So I think my judgment of size is off. We will see. Let's try this piece on. I've never tried it on before. 
I'm excited. All right, so we have the top on and I will say it's definitely too big for me. I could have done with a small, which is a shame because I love the color and the flowers. I just think it's cute. I actually didn't check the measurements for this one, so that's on me. But now I'm looking at it from my previous order. They do have it in the item details and all it says is 21 inch waist. And I personally don't really agree with that at all. Maybe because this is just such a stretchy material. It's made out of viscose and lip in, but I definitely don't have a 21 inch waist. I actually have a 29 inch waist and this is just too big. In this case, I will say that it was a little bit off with it. Honestly, this is the first time I've had an item not fit me. So I would say this is more of the exception, not the rule. Moving on to one of my favorite tops, this little green number. I bought this like a while ago. So this was definitely featured in one of my older vlogs, but I love this top. I wear it all the time. The color is Let's go ahead and try this one on. So here is the top on, very cute. It is originally from Olivacious. I found the original top from Walmart for $35 and I paid $11.88 using ThreadUp. I really love the color and the outline of the white and that has like an upside down scoop detail under the bust. This is what it looks like in the back. Just a cute vibe. I actually think it looks really good with this denim skirt. It just gives me like 70s flower child vibes. I like that it's like a cooling sweater fabric and of course it is cropped so it's still good for like spring and summer definitely recommend this top for the next two items i'm going to show it to you as an outfit since i bought them together with the intention of an outfit haven't tried them both on so we'll see if my vision comes to life i have a vision could be a fail Sometimes it is. Basically going to be this top and then these shorts, which are these cool little like business elegant looking shorts. But we'll see, I've tried the top on and I love it, but I've not tried the shorts on. So we will see if the shorts fit and if they work cohesively. Dear God, I hope it does. Let's try them on. So we have the fit and it almost works and I will show you why I say almost. But first let's go into the top. So this top is by Anthropology and it's 100% Cotton. I actually wore it last weekend for a little date with my boyfriend. It was so cute and I loved it. I really love the neckline here as well as the fit. You can see that the top is slightly cropped. In the back, the top has this interesting strip here. I guess for detail, it's actually kind of droops a little for me. And then it ties here as well. Sometimes I wear it tied in the back. Other times I like to actually tie it in the front. It's pretty versatile. Keep vibes. Definitely one of my favorite items I've gotten from ThreadUp so so far. For the shorts, um, <laughs> so for the shorts, I love them for what they are, but also not totally my style. Let me move the camera so you can see it's full, full length. <laughs> Here are the shorts. They're very long. The shorts aren't shortened, you know what I mean? Like they're almost to my knees. It's like cute, some people are into it. Me personally, it's not typically what I'd go for. Just with my body type, I feel like it looks a little weird on me, personally. Let me show you the side and the back. I mean, listen, I bought these for Europe because I'm going to travel this summer with students for my work. So I wanted something more modest, but also breathable in the summer and kind of like more European style, which I still think these shorts are. These shorts are also branded for like work and corporate vibes. So I guess I can see that. You wouldn't want short shorts in most workplaces. They have pockets and they are very good quality. These are made out of 100% wool. And a little fun fact, when I was trying these on, I saw on the tag that these are made in Croatia, which I love because I'm literally going to Croatia this summer. I feel like even though I'm not super vibing with the link, I may still make these work or maybe I can get them hemmed. Because of the quality and the fact that they're from Croatia and I'm going to Croatia and I happen to buy these for a trip not knowing they're from Croatia, but I'm going to Croatia and that's alignment. You know what I mean? Ooh, I lost my breath there. It says the brand is Escada and I will say these were pricier. I knew they were good quality. For me, they are definitely worth the money. Just a quick note on the retail price, I found a consignment store from Fine Clothing where they have the same shorts posted for $69.99 and they estimated the retail to be $400 while I paid only $52 for purchasing from ThreadUp. And unfortunately on ThreadUp for their bottoms, a lot of times they don't actually show them on a mannequin. So you can't really see what they look like on. They just show you the item itself, which was the case here. So I thought they were shorter, but they're not. They're pretty long. 
I don't know, I just feel, <laughs> feel a little goofy. But maybe it's a look and I'm just like, I'm just not used to this fashion. Maybe with some heels, it'll lengthen my legs a little more and make it make more sense. Maybe it's just in my head, you tell me. I don't know, is it good, is it bad? Be honest. We are finally, oh my God, my hair. This is what happens when you put on clothes back to back. Uh, don't mind the hair, yeah. I'm doing the best I can in, in this environment. So we are finally, oh no. Oh God, you're falling, girly. Don't do that to me right now. We are finally getting into the dresses. I recently bought this piece. I know you've been eyeing it in the background and it's here, we're putting it on. Spring vibes, look at this print. Look at this. And then you got like this little detail here. Talk about flower child. That's so cute. Let's just go ahead and put this on. Voila, this dress is so cute. It's giving coastal flower child. And we're here for it. We definitely got a little chest moment, which is totally cool with me. I feel like a good plunge moment takes more attention off of like the shoulders, which is what I prefer for my body type. I think this is a flattering fit. And this is the back. Cute. Here we go up the full length of the dress. And yes, it is maxi. It hits the floor just barely. And I love that because I will not have to get hemmed. Of course, in the overlay, I will show you the measurements that were listed for this dress. I can see myself wearing this throughout the spring, the summer, honestly, even the fall with like the orange accents. I'm gonna wear this dress as much as I can. This dress is by Mahi and on the tag, it actually had their slogan, which is where magic comes in waves. And I love that. It's serving whimsical, Mamma Mia vibes. This is made out of 100% rayon and this was listed a little bit pricier on Threadup, but it was listed like new. I actually found this dress on Revolve and they were selling it for $82 discounted from $138 while I only paid $39 on Threadup. And I just think it's so cute. I can just see myself at a beach bar or even painting in this dress. It gives me like artsy vibes. I just recommend. I think this is such a good find. Here is the next dress and I bought this a while ago. I featured it in my Panama travel vlog, so check out that video if you haven't. This is one of the dresses I bought for the trip because it was a work trip and I wanted something a little bit more modest but festive for Panama because we needed a dress for the Panama ruins for our company party. And this is what I wore. This is the back. This dress is from Emily and Finn. I Google image searched this dress and I found that it was for sale for $152 while I only paid $27.95 using Threadup. It has pockets as you can tell. And I just loved the length because it wasn't full length, but it was midi and I liked how it looked spinning, the bright colors. Oh my God, I'm dizzy. I wanted to add this into my haul since it is from Threadup and I thought it was a really good find. I bought this dress and this silk dress from Third Up. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this one looks like on. Here is the other dress, and this is made out of 100% silk. It's really more of like a wrap dress, so you gotta do this, do some ties. So not as secure as the other one, which is why I didn't wear it for my work trip, but I do think it's still cute and actually would be a great beach cover or a beach dress, just something that is more airy and flowy. I do like the plunge here. I think it's very flattering and I love the print it's very much summer and here is the back the back is just a simple crisscross and yeah this is just more of a dainty dress and I thought the colors were just gorgeous and I don't remember it being too pricey either I actually found the original dress on Yumi Kim's website and it retails for $298 and I only paid $32.49 on Threadup that is all the outfits. I'm gonna wrap it up really quick because I do have plans that I have to get to and my time management sucks, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you consider thrifting more and this has inspired you to do so. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button because it does help out the channel and push it to more people. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, join the family, love to have you here. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.